My name is Elizabeth Keeling. I've been with the NISO since 2017, and I'm a project manager with the Interconnection Projects team. I first joined the NISO in 2017 as a business analyst with the business and finance team. So I was involved with working on requirements and documentation for our different software systems to support our finance team. And last year, in December of 2022, I moved up to the Interconnection Projects group to join as a project manager to support the engineers and team members. As a project manager with the Interconnection Projects team, there's a lot of moving parts and different people and parties that we work with. So one of my jobs is to help control the chaos. I work with the engineers internally to make sure they're on track with their work, but I also communicate with a lot of our external parties, the transmission owners and the developers to make sure their, their projects are moving along. The Interconnection queue is a starting point for developers when they want to build a new project in New York State and connect to the transmission system. And this really will range from smaller projects, uh, say a small solar farm, all the way up to a large offshore wind project and everything in between. Studies are conducted at the NISO to ensure reliability of the grid. And once those studies are completed, they'll move on to their detailed engineering and construction phases. As part of the study process, what we look at is the connections of the projects to the substations located in New York State. We wanna make sure that when they're connecting, they don't cause any impediments to the reliability of the grid. And that's ultimately what our study process is looking to summarize and come to a conclusion of. The studies will often come out with impediments on the grid, such as breakers tripping or potentially losing power to a large portion of New York State. And that will all be documented in a report that's presented to the developer and the transition owner. There are multiple parties that participate in the interconnection process. So we have the NISO, the developers, and the transmission owners. If any of those parties aren't providing information in a timely manner, that can ultimately lead to the process slowing down, which is what a lot of developers come to us and say, why is my project taking so long? A lot of that depends on people providing information in the time that we ask for it. I think one of the ways that we try to overcome some of the complaints and challenges we have of studies taking a long time is the collaboration efforts we have with the transition owners in particular. We're meeting with them on a regular basis to go through all of the projects that they're the CTO on to make sure that both the NISO and the TO is on the same page with what types of data is required, what feedback we're looking for. And we've really seen a huge improvement working with the TOs and having these regular communication touch points. I think the biggest improvement that I've seen since I joined the team a year ago is the collaboration among the parties involved in the interconnection process. And I want to say that both internal to the NISO as well as externally. We have a great group and team members in the interconnection world. We have our stakeholder services liaisons that we are constantly communicating and collaborating with to help answer questions that the developers have. And we also have regular touch points with the TOs, which I alluded to earlier. And all of that combined, I think, is making huge improvements to the process. One of the big improvements we're making in terms of technology and tools is we're bringing on a project management software called Cloud Coach. And what this tool is gonna enable us to do is to share visually project plans and schedules with the developers and the transition owners. This is gonna be another way for us to regularly communicate and collaborate even more than we are today. One of the ways that we're going to be utilizing technology to help us with this process is by bringing on a new project management software this tool is going to allow us to continue our collaboration with the developers and transmission owners even greater than we have today. This tool is going to allow us to share project plans and a visualization of those plans for everybody to be on the same page with the process. It will show us tasks that are upcoming, due dates, and a lot of information that's gonna be critical and crucial moving forward with the changes we're going to see with the interconnection process. Working with the Stakeholder Services Liaisons has been an excellent experience. They're the front line. They're the ones who are taking in all of the questions and, qu and inquiries for the various external parties. And I work with them directly to help resolve any questions that come up. We have a great working relationship with the liaisons. We regularly communicate with them to try and resolve any questions that come through the stakeholder services area. And I feel like them being added to the NISO has really helped improve communications externally.